What we have here are uh, uh, three uh, flow controls, restrictor type flow controls. Two of them are variable. You can tell the variable by the, the adjustment screw here that can go in there and change the orifice size that the amount of oil is flowing through. This one here is a restrictor type um, non-variable. Notice it's got a pin going right through holding the poppet. You can see on the top view here the little hole in the, in the poppet. That's the restricted flow in one direction. But when the oil goes it flows through in the opposite direction, it lifts the poppet off of its seat and it can free flow through. So this one here, the non-restricted one, schematically drawn, would, strict, would easily be just a line with your fixed orifice in there. And then you put a check ball or draw a check ball around it, a check ball and seat, so that in one direction, in this direction, it's metered. Notice that it can't go uh, pop the check ball off its seat, so it has to go through the orifice. But in this direction, right here, it's free flowing. because as the oil comes in this way, it can unseat the check and flow through the orifice. So you have free flow in that direction, metered in this direction. In the other two, the two variable orifices, uh, restrictor type, schematically drawn, the only difference between the, the restrictor and the, the variable or the fixed and the variable, sorry, is putting an arrow through the uh, variable, or the orifice, to indicate that the orifice size can change. Uh, other than that, we still draw the check ball around it. And so what we've got here now is the fact that, again, in one direction it's metered. So in this direction right here, it's metered flow. And in this direction, we're showing that it's free flow.